now as we have implemented our recent tree regression now look let's look into the different ways how we can visualize our tree and how we can look the different values at different branches it gives us so let's try out with a very first and a very simple implementation of the visualization so we are going to take our decent tree regressor first we are going to create a grid from the minimum value of our x and the maximum between the minimum value and the maximum value we are going to take and then we are going to uh, train our model on the different values of x and then implement it so let's do it out so we are going to create x grid so x grid equals to np dot arrange and let's take the minimum of x and the maximum of x and one more thing that we have is the step size so we are going to keep the step size as 0 0.01 let's check x grid so okay we have different values from 100 to 30,000 so everything is just incrementing at each point with point, uh, 0 0.01 now let's reset our x grid in a one dimensional ladder so x grid is equals to x underscore grid dot reshape and we are going to take the complete shape of it so x grid the length of the x grid and we are going to have it in a single dimension now let's check x grid okay so we have successfully reshaped it so now let's plot it out so plt dot plot plt dot plot we are going to pass our x grid and then what we are going to do is we are going to take our model that is dr dot regressor then we are going to predict on every value of x grid so dr underscore predictor uh, regressor dot predict and inside of it we are going to pass our x values that is x grid and let's keep the color as blue so here is the descent regressor value of this now in the same plot let's plt dot scatter let's plot a scatter plot and it will be having all the values of x and y and let's put the color as red so color is equal to red let's check it out so now here is our first visualization of our regressor tree so let's take the previous example where we predicted so for the value of 20,000 we predicted it out let's predict it once more so for 20,000 it's predicting 30,000 so as you can see exactly at 20,000 the value is over here and with a bit of increment it will just go hike into somewhere above uh, 50,000 so if I check for 22 I'm going to get a much higher value which indeed is not the real case so we are going to improve this model more and more how by implementing and random forest but before that let's look into a different uh, more visualization techniques so this was one of the way let's look into one more way so that is let's import from sklearn import tree so sklearn also provides us a way to represent it so let's look into the first way that is a text representation probably i don't usually support this a uh, much but if you like text representation uh, much more then you can just go out with this other than this i'm also going to show you a different way so text representation equals to tree dot export dot underscore tree and then degreaser then we have feature so let's pass the feature names is equal to and we will be having production cost 
production underscore cost and then what we are going to do is we are going to print our text representation so let's copy it out and let's save so export tree I think we missed out something so module scale and tree has no attribute export tree so there's a small typo test export text let's implement it out and so we have got out our regression tree model so that's how we can just visualize it so if the production cost is less than 2750 then again it will go inside and check if it is less than 7000 again it is less than 1000 3000 if all of these conditions are true then the value will be 1000 rupees same thing if the value over here after this if the value is more than 300 rupees then the value is 3 3000 rupees same thing with different logics are over here you can just implement it and check out the different ways and which are the important variables for this now let's look into one more way how you can visualize it out so this is a graphical way and i usually prefer it out so it's up to you which one you want to implement so so plt dot figure and let's keep the fix size first fix size is equal to 25 20 what this does is nothing but it will just create out uh, a bigger space for you with length 25 and breadth 20. so we have everything that we need let's keep one more bracket and let's keep it blank tree dot plot tree let's pass our dr regressor so we have dr regressor and then we have feature names same thing as before we are going to pass out our x values so it's production cost production cost looks good and then we have our class name so in class names we are going to pass what we want to predict so we want to predict our profit we are looking for the profit value and let's we have one more value to fill in so whenever you get a bit of typos in this you can just press shift plus tab and you will get a small description about it so i'm going to keep uh, filled as true so let's keep filled small f fill as equal to true let's look into our decision tree as this is a small data set so it is very fast if your data set is very huge and enormous then it is quite not possible to view in this way anyway so we have just visualized our decision tree if the production cost is less than 2750 the msc score is something like this we have 14 samples with this value then the value is something like this again we will go inside if it is less than 7000 then again it will check if it is less than 1300 if it is less than 300 it will have the value 1000 if it is more than 300 it will be having the value 3000 something similar what we have less than 300 we have the value 1000 more than 300 we have the value 3000 same thing for different scales so if the value is greater than 20750 we'll just go over here and check again if it is less over here then it will move into this and then or else it will move into this so if the value is more than this, uh, then the value is 80,000 rupees. So that's how you can visualize your decision tree regressor. That's it for this video. I hope you liked out this, this video. In our next video onwards, we are going to learn about random forest regressor.